Hi and welcome to another Type with Me. In this video I want to talk about leading middle elements in tuples. It's something that has been improved towards the versions of TypeScript and I will tell you what and how it's been improved and what you can do with it. So tuples are a long way present within TypeScript, right? So here we have a basic tuple and these are just the array options. So the first element needs to be a string, the second a boolean, and the other one also a boolean. So if we do array options equals, you see that we, we get an error, right? Because, of course, we need to have some elements. And the first element could be s true false. And then he is happy, right? If we remove one, you'll see here that he's complaining. How can we solve that? Well, we can solve that, for example, to put here a question mark, but then, of course, he says that, yeah, a required element cannot follow an optional element. So that's something that's very important to know. What we could do now is add something like this at the end. Something else that we could do very easily is put question mark right here. So if we now do this, it's also fine. Another thing that can be replaced is doing this and then we can just do this and treat it as an array, right? So the first element needs to be a string and then we could have some millions, right? So we can have false, false, true. <laughs> And you can Im immediately see that you can create some cool kind of stuff there, right? And that's something that you need to take into account. One of the things that for me is very useful to use tuples is in functions. So when you have a function and uh, blah, and you want to return something, array options, return, and of course that needs to be a type then we can create a type out of it Of course, here we can return something from blah. And we can return here our arrow options, right? So that's something that's very useful. But then again, I think mostly when you do a lot of calculations and you want to return multiple objects there, it's nice to just define and use tuples there, right? Right, so one of the things that I now want to do is add here comma number and then you'll see that we get an error that that's not possible but that's because we are on TypeScript 4.0.2 right what I want to do is I want to create a project npm init whatever then of course I want to install TypeScript as a dev dependency, so we're going to install it, right? Now we have it right here. And if I now change the version, then I can see I want to use 4.7.3 and you see here that it's possible, right? So, and that's great because then, of course, we can say at the end that I want to have a number. But you still need to have something, right, of a boolean. The only thing to really ignore that is to put a question mark in there, but you see, an optional element cannot follow a rest element. So that's a problem there as well. So you need to take into account if you put extra things after it, that you also need to put it and you also need to have some kind of boolean so there. What you could do is just do this. That's also possible, but you need to have a number there. 
I don't know if you can do this and then this, but that's also not possible. And that's a little bit strange, right? Because that's a little bit of a limitation that you got now uh, to put something after it. But again, if it solves your needs, yeah, why not, right? But this allows to have yeah, middle optional parameters, of course, of the same type. So it could be a solution if you want that or if you are searching for something like that. So yeah, why not, right? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.